I'm Benjamin Zephaniah and I'm the curator of the 2016 Cosmos Awards exhibition at the South Bank Centre in London. The title of the exhibition is We Are All Human and I chose that title because it's such a simple, honest truth. Now this exhibition is done by people who are in prison, detention centres, going through psychiatric treatment but at the end of the day, they are all human. I was in prison myself in the 1970s, and back then, there was no way you could express yourself. I felt like a creative being, but there was nothing there to do. The Cosler Trust is an amazing charity which was set up over 50 years ago to help prisoners and people who are imprisoned to have a creative outlet. Over 4,000 people every year enter their awards, which give them something to work towards and to show their creative talents. It's a wonderful mission and I was so pleased to support it and to get involved with it. I don't really think of myself as really educated when it comes to the visual arts, but I know what I like. And this piece here is one such thing. I looked at it and thought, you know, there's a guy kind of thinking about life and contemplating. And then as I look closer, I realise that it's made up of lots of words. And these are things that people have said to him that are really important in his life. This is amazing. It's visual, but it's also poetry. I had the chance to meet some of the artists. You can see how important the Cuzzler Awards are to them. The awards are giving people the chance to make art and to make changes. What the Cuzzler Awards is doing is really very important. I spent a lot of time at Codler HQ at Wormers Grove Prison looking through all the incredible work. It blew me away. I expressed myself through words and as I looked through the Codler entries I was surrounded by people who expressed themselves in so many different ways. Oh, <laughs> sorry. One of the things I wanted to do in this exhibition is put a lot of music in it, you know, so we have these listening posts. We spend a lot of time listening to the music, so if you come, you too should spend a lot of time listening to the music. I really wanted to make time a kind of feature of this exhibition because, especially when you go into prison, one of the first things they tell you is that you'll be released on this date. The judge will tell you that you've got so much time and you'll be counting the days down all the time, the days, the hours. And so time is important to all of us, but for some people in some conditions, time is even more heightened. In my younger years, everyone told me I would spend my life in prison. But there was a little spark inside me that thought, no, I'm a poet. And this, my people, is Speaker's Corner. Actually, when I did this exhibition, I really wanted poetry to have a very important place. So around here, you see lots of poetry. Poetry for the mind, poetry for the soul, poetry about politics, poetry about love. Pure, unadulterated, beautiful poetry. We want as many people to come and see it as possible. I know that artist families are coming, and politicians and artists and employers, everyone, even my mum's coming. There are tours all day long by the host, and some of the hosts have been in prisons themselves, so they really know what this exhibition means. And you can buy stuff too. Take a piece of the exhibition home with you. I want the artists to know that their work is valuable in terms of expression, and in adding to the whole conversation about life. And for you too, I'm telling you, this is just really good art. <laughs>